Climate change is a hot topic in Washington and around the world with millions of people changing their habits to help save the planet. But would you give up having children because of climate change? Joining us to talk about Birth Strike is the host of In Case You Missed It by HuffPost, Heather Gardner. Hey, Happy Monday. You. Okay, so this birth strike phenomenon is something that I've sort of had like casual conversations about with friends, but I didn't know that women were actually considering this. Yeah, it's not just women either. It's a lot of men, couples specifically, who are talking about all of the reasons why they will or will not have children, and now they're just considering climate change. Mm -hmm. And for these birth strikers, that is the number one reason. And they have declared, signed it into the universe, that they will not have children or have any more children because of climate change. Wow, what do we feel about this? Does this feel extreme or? It, it kind of does to me a little bit, but then when you think about it, like I've had these conversations, not necessarily about climate change, but just children in general with my husband, with my friends, like you've said, and the number one reason for me is money, but you know, climate change is, a, is another big thing too. It's another thing to consider in a list of things to consider when couples, women or men, decide to have children. I have to say that after the UN climate change report came out last fall, and they basically mm -hmm. said that by 2040, if we yeah. let, it go up 1.5 degrees Celsius that we're going to see more floods, more extreme weather, people will be moving inland, more droughts. And I right. actually thought, well, if that's in my lifetime, is it worth bringing children into this? Right. And that's really what the basis of these people, it's about 300 people who have signed, um, like I said, into the universe. Mm -hmm. There's nothing holding them to this, but they have declared. Well, um, and that Facebook really, group. Uh, that's right. Yeah. It's yeah. the Facebook group. It is. Yeah. Right. Um, Facebook will hold you to it. And it's binding. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, no, but that is the number one reason. It's like, it's morally and ethically irresponsible in their words. That's what they're saying yeah. to bring children into the world for, for exactly that reason. Their life is going to be so much more difficult if you subscribe to everything that the scientists Mm -hmm. have said that their life is going to be really, really hard. And then also, who's going to pay for it? They're just putting, we're putting our problems now yeah. onto the future generations and they again think it's morally and ethically irresponsible. Yeah, this is something I've been thinking about for years because even though I want my own children and I think that would be like so much fun, mm -hmm. there's too many people and I see that on the daily when there's just crowded streets and people mm -hmm. like falling onto the subway tracks because we're all crammed <laughs> into tight spaces. <laughs> And so I, I feel like I've made the decision where I'm, I'm more real, realistically thinking I'm probably going to adopt. And so yeah. I hope that people who are thinking about this really think about adopting because there's so many children out mm -hmm. there who really would love to be totally. part of a family. There's so many kids born in, into the world that just don't even stand a shot. Like they don't right. have anyone mm -hmm. right now. So and I that, feel like that would be a great movement. Yeah, yeah, it it really is. True. That's part of this movement as well. It's just the birth part of it that they're on strike. It's not that they're not going to parent. Yeah. Um, and they did say that, you know, um, scientists again with going back to the UN report and everything, um, the, mo the worst thing that we can do to this planet is add more people. And so they're not going to do that. But they will be parents by adopting or yeah. fostering in, in that way because those children are already here and they need loving homes yeah. too. So they're going to parent in other different ways. Ways, they're just not going to add to an already overpopulated planet. This also seems like a great out if your partner really wants to have kids and you don't, just blame it on climate change. Yeah. There you go, yeah, yeah, exactly. Sorry, babe. I made up my mind. Yeah. <laughs> you mentioned the Facebook page, but tell yeah. us a little more about what that page, like, so 300 yeah. people have uh, joined the group so Yes. Far? Now, I wish I could tell you all the details. I mean, 300 people. What yeah, quite yeah. a yeah. movement, right? <laughs> it's a no, movement, guys. I wish mm -hmm. that I could tell you, like, all of the juicy details on the inside, but when I went to go take a look at it, you actually do have to, like, sign this pledge before they let you in, so I did not get in, and not to burst anyone's bubble, and I know my husband is watching. I have not decided that, <laughs> you know? Um, so I didn't go ahead and take the pledge. But 300 people, it does seem small, but think about how any movement gets started. Yeah. And, and, and this, when I was looking up um, the articles for all of this stuff too, there were so many different people who have talked about this and it's just getting it out into the mainstream. So even though 300 people have decided this, like we're talking about it now. Yeah. And that's, that's really the point of what they're trying to do is just get the word out there. Again, if you are considering to not have children for a list of reasons, no. Also consider climate change yeah, as one of those reasons. It, this is such an interesting issue to me, and like when reading about it, I was really torn because, of course, I believe women should have every right to control their bodies, and this mm -hmm. is a legitimate reason not to have children. But on the second, other hand, I'm an optimist, and I believe like our, I really believe our best days yeah. are ahead of us, but we have to work for it. Yep. And I understand how disheartening it can be when you look at the news and our current state of our political affairs. But mm -hmm. you know, you look at some you know leaders like you know Congresswoman AOC, who's oh, trying yes. to lead the fight in the Green New Deal, but she recently just said like she understands. Yeah that women 
going on this right. Post fight. And I know, like I said, 300 people may seem so small, but how many followers does AOC have? Right. So many. And she's the one who's kind of making this specific movement going on strike from having children a little bit more mainstream because she said in a live stream, she proposed this question. Is it irresponsible of right. us to add more children into the mix because of everything we're dealing with now and because of everything that they're going to have to deal with in the future? If we don't fix this problem, life is just going to be so much harder. Do you think this this topic in particular will be one talked about in 2020 in the debates? Oh, yeah. yes, yeah. absolutely. I mean, it's a, a part of a full reaching like climate change. It's, it's right. not going away. We've seen that. We've tried to push it. Some people, let's yeah. rephrase ourselves, some people have decided to push it aside that it's not really happening, but every shred of evidence that has come out in the entire world is against that, so yes. And, and I do believe what AOC is doing um, by putting it out there front, even right. though she's not running for president, no. people have backed her up who are running for president who want to get the Green New Deal through mm -hmm. and want to ask these really serious questions. Should we bring more people into this world? Right. And, Along with all the other and questions. And it's actually maybe a, a new perspective to many people who disagree with her um, and maybe that, that don't, don't understand what the crisis that we're in, that yeah. people are thinking about yeah. not producing more people. Yeah, and I'm definitely not an expert on, you know, what the... The, the science behind climate change, but I do realize that it is a huge problem that we're dealing with already and that my future children might have to deal with. But you know, like we said, like there's so many other reasons to may to consider right. having children or not. And money is the number one thing. And that of course folds into political stuff. We've seen yeah. that with every single presidential candidate coming up in 2020, including AOC who's just backing Elizabeth Warren and all of these other people who are really pushing for child care yeah. costs to come down. And that's the number one reason why millennials and why people of childbearing age are just deciding not to yeah. have children is because it's it's too expensive. And climate change is just going to add to that expense. It's all kind of folded into one. I was gonna say it's all connected to exactly. me. Like if you're gonna pick Money has a reason that climate change is tied into that because everything will be more expensive. Right. We'll have less resources, less access to absolutely everything. And just so you know, there's, there's other Pretty ways depressing, too. Pretty depressing, actually. If, um, <laughs> We're just trying to start the show off on a happy yeah. 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 I was like, this is such happy a depressing Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Monday. No, Welcome no. to Bill Brunch. Don't have kids. <laughs> the earth is yeah. burning. The earth literally. is burning. No, yeah. no, no. But there is, uh, I think another part of this group too is not necessarily like shaming people who decide that they do want to have kids because that's a very personal decision. Um, and there are other ways to help climate change without um, deciding that you don't want to have kids. You can have a plant-based diet. You can not drive your car. You can yeah. not drive plan uh, fly on planes. And all of those seem like really extreme things to, to get rid of in the same way that, uh, you know, not yeah. having children. Well, we've seems. got to make changes. I know New York City just yes. passed a law where they're going to charge people $10 right. for driving. Yeah. A low 60th oh, street. Low, really? low 60th. It's going to $10. Yeah. $10. You're going to get your pay it, and it's going to raise about a billion dollars a huh. year. $10 yeah. So what? to improve our public transportation and per decrease car. pollution and all everything. the congestion around the city. Oh, so I think we see yeah. cities trying to make these efforts to make the and world greener. They also passed the, the ban on plastic bags, yeah. too. Right. So, I mean, there's baby steps, but I think ba baby steps, yeah. pun, pun not intended there. No, but I think the idea uh -huh. is to just start having these conversations yeah. so these baby steps turn into huge steps. And this is just another part of that. Well, from your lips to God's ears. Thank you Here for joining go. us today, <laughs> Thank you. And you can catch In Case You Missed It by HuffPost on HuffPost.com and Yahoo's Roku channel.